Hey, hello CAC. It's good to be seen again. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the beginnings of fall outside, morning, evening, and uh, I love the fall. And so this is time of the year where, uh, anyway, I just love it. You've heard this before. It energizes me. But anyway, this Sunday, we are going to be starting the Soul Care series, the Soul Care book study. And uh, we've been telling you about it over the last several weeks. And before we hit the Sunday, I have a few, a few points I just want to share with you that hopefully I believe will help you ready yourself uh, for Sunday, the Sunday morning start. And the first thing I want to say is just I want to state the obvious that uh, the Soul Care book, the Soul Care message series is not a magic bullet that is going to solve all the problems in your life. It's not going to turn you into a saint by Thanksgiving. No, you know, we don't, we don't look at it like that at all. But it has shown itself over time and in many different places, both in the U.S. and around the world, to people who have, who have taken it and taken it seriously and applied it to, us, to their lives. It has shown itself to be, to be helpful to help people in their spiritual growth and maturity and development. Not a magic bullet, but helpful, yes. That's the first thing I wanted to say. And then the second thing I wanted to say is that if you're reading the book or if you're listening to a message and you come across something that you don't agree with, that's perfectly okay. Uh, it's, you know, you may see things a different way, have a different opinion, different conviction. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I've read the book a couple times and looked through it more than that. And there are, there are things in the book that I don't totally agree with, uh, but there's so much there that is so helpful. And so if you come across a disagreement or two, don't let that bother you. Don't let that stop you. Just, just keep going. Uh, and then number three, I just want to encourage you to be involved at whatever level you can. And so the levels are is just, you know, participating in the, in the message, listening to the message, either here in person or on the live stream, interacting with the message. It could go beyond that to where you uh, participate in the discussion uh, class that's going to happen following the message downstairs here in person in room three and four, or it'll be also a Zoom at the same time for those of you on the live stream. Uh, you may want to tune in or, or come to the discussion class where we will uh, talk about the sermon, talk about the book. Uh, another level is you may want to join a triad or, or have your small group. Uh, focus on the book, read through the book, discuss it together, discuss the, discuss the messages together. Uh, triads are just groups of two or three or four people who on their own decide how often they want to meet during the fall and uh, interact with, with the book and the messages together. And then another level is that you may simply want to get the book and read it. Read it yourself rather than read it with somebody else and that's okay. Uh, I just want to encourage you to, to um, you know, get involved at, at whatever level you're able to and whatever level you feel comfortable with. That's all fine. So that's number three. Uh, and then number four, I'm just asking for all of us that we would be willing to, to look at anything in our life that comes up during the series, any issue uh, that comes up in our life, any problem, any besetting sin, any attitude, whatever it might be, that we would just be willing to, to look at it before God and ask God what he wants to do with it, what he wants us to do with it, and, and be willing to do the work uh, partnering with God uh, in dealing with this issue. Uh, and then number five, I just want you to know that, that each message will be, will be grounded, will be rooted, will be anchored uh, in a biblical text or a biblical passage. Uh, I'm not getting up on Sunday mornings and preaching the book. Uh, each sermon will have, like I said, a biblical text, and I will preach that text just like I preach other texts. That's the way I do things. And then the book will be used as supplemental material, particularly when it comes to the, the practical application part. Those five things, let me just review them again. Is Number one, this is not a magic bullet. It's not going to make you an instant saint, but it will help you in your spiritual transformation. Uh, two, it's okay to disagree with things. Three, be involved at whatever level you can be. Number four, be willing to be open to, to look at what God brings to you and to, to work on it, so to speak. And then number five, 
know that we're going to be in a biblical text every Sunday morning. This Sunday, first message, I'm talking about uh, what is soul care. And my, my text for this Sunday comes from John's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, 36, 31, 32, and then verse 36, where we read, Jesus is saying, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Uh, those verses uh, give us an invitation. If you hold to my teaching, that's the invite that Jesus gives us, to hold to his teaching, to follow his word. And then that is followed by a threefold promise. If we hold to scripture, to God's word, to the teaching of Jesus, then number the first promise is we will know the truth. Uh, or the first promise is that we will be his disciples, we will be his followers. Uh, if you hold to the teaching, you will really be my disciples. The third, or excuse me, invitation, hold to Jesus' teaching. Threefold promise. Number one, if we do that, we'll be his disciples. Number three, we will know the truth. And, num and number four, the truth will set us free. Uh, come back on Sunday morning and I'll straighten that out for you if I just confused you. But that's the text we'll be looking at on Sunday. And all I ask is come, prayed up, come on Sunday morning, uh, full of expectancy for what God the Holy Spirit wants to do in our church and what he wants to do in your life during this series. That's all I've got for you. Until next time, I love you and God bless. Bye-bye.